Okay, so let's say we don't necessarily want to create a rectangular solid, we want to create a triangular solid. So what we might do is go up here in the corner and uh, draw the, the triangle that we're attempting to project. So what you do is you, you start with your Start with your shape just flat, not in perspective. Be a little tricky to start um, without that. So once you have the shape, um, you inscribe a rectangle around it. So you can pick any one of these sides. I'm going to pick this side as side A, uh, side B, and side C. So I'm going to make a rectangle around this triangle using one of the edges. As one edge of the rectangle. So now I've successfully inscribed this triangle inside a larger rectangle. So now I'm going to um, draw out my horizon line pick my two vanishing points and then I'm going to make a, make a rectangular base plane in two-point perspective okay been through this before this is covered ground. Um, I think I want this to be plane A, this to be B, and this to be C. So this will be the longest side. So I want to make sure that since this is plane A, and plane A is longer than this, that this is going to be a little bit longer than that. So Now let's go back up to our plan. If we subdivide this in half, and then subdivide this again, it looks like I've put that point right on the quarter. So we already know uh, where this is going. Um, we're going to need to put this point on the quarter right here. So we're just going to do our subdivision method. Covered ground. should be really familiar with this method by now. Okay. Now we're going to drop this back to our vanishing point. All right. And then uh, we need to continue it all the way through to this point because we have to subdivide again. Okay, so we're going to subdivide again to find our quarter. I didn't plan this out, um, that this would actually land exactly on the quarter, but that's advantageous for our purposes today. Make things a lot easier. Okay, so here we found our quarter point. So we're going to go ahead and inscribe this triangle into our square, or a rectangle rather. So you'll notice that this looks like the projection of our original solid put down in perspective. So we've got side A, we've got side B, we've got side C over here. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so now we're gonna ignore this triangle for a minute and we're just going to project our rectangle upwards. off 
almost there. It's a little better, more accurate. And then we're gonna go one more vertical. Okay, so all we're doing right now is projecting our rectangle upwards. Okay, so we're finding all of our planes Project our the back upwards as well. That's better. Okay, so you can see our uh, our rectangle is uh, starting to develop. Almost there. So now we have this plane projected up here, up top. So we have side A right here, but we need to find side B and side C. So all we have to do is take our point that we've already located, project that up here. You can see this is why it's really important to keep these lines uh, the vertical lines parallel to each other. Okay, so now we simply project this upwards. Boom. And we go from here over to our point. Okay, now that's We've done it. You can see that there's just a very tiny amount of uh, plane B showing. But it's there. We can see it. Um, we can see uh, plane C as well. So just for the sake, I'm going to darken plane B fill in that value. Then I'm going to go do plane A a little light. I think I want to redo that. Same process but with a different shaped triangle so that you can actually see more of the uh, B plane. Keep it rolling. Okay, we're gonna go through the same method and drop our horizon line. Um, I'm gonna draw a different, slightly different triangle, something that'll uh, translate a little bit better. Do the same thing. Gonna project our rectangle around the triangle. So you can kind of see that the more any solid that you uh, that you want to do, you just take its profile, put a rectangle around it, and then locate it within that rectangle. So you can see the half is about here. Uh, the quarter is about there. So somewhere between half and a quarter, and you can roughly estimate that um, once you subdivide. So two vanishing points, and then ground plane. This is going to be plane A, B, C. So this is going to be plane A down here. So this is going to be the long one. Um, so that means we're going to have to make this somewhat shorter. And this one a good amount longer. 
Okay, so you can see that we have this rectangle roughly drawn in perspective here. We're going to subdivide so that we can locate our half and our quarter and estimate a point in between. Um, and that way we can locate our base, our triangle on the base. Okay. We're going to draw all the way through, back to our vanishing point. We're going to subdivide again. Actually, I want to flip it. I want this to be C and this to be B. So I'm going to subdivide this way, just so that shows more of that uh, front plane. Okay, so if we're, if we're working with a mirror image, this point's going to actually be over here, and so we'll be drawing a triangle like this. That's going to be uh, easier to see. So we know that it's somewhere between here and here. I'm just going to pick a point. And then we're going to inscribe this triangle inside this square. Or rectangle, rather. I'm just going to kind of uh, make it a little darker so it's going to be easier to see against all the other construction lines. Okay. So we have A, we've got B, and we've got C. It's good to label these when you're, when you're doing this. So now I'm just going to uh, project a rectangular solid upwards using these verticals. I've already done this, should be familiar territory. I'm going to try to be pretty careful to uh, keep these lines parallel to each other. But don't be too tight with it. You still want to um, have some freedom. OK. So you can see this starting to take shape. We're just drawing a rectangular solid uh, in two-point perspective. Okay, so you can see we have our top plane right here. We have our bottom plane right here. We've kind of drawn through the form. It's totally fine. So now we need to find this point up here, which is, if you wanted to, you could go through the centering method. Again, uh, we're not going to do that. All we're going to do is uh, project this upward until we hit our, uh, our intersection on the top plane. So now we found it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to connect this to this, and then we're going to connect this to this, and create our uh, our triangle on our top plane. And we'll be after that we will be done with a triangular solid two-point perspective. All right. That's it. That is probably the most efficient way to, uh, to do it. Now if you wanted to do more complex solids, hexagons, octagons, whatever you want, you'll, uh, you'll draw them out flat, you'll draw a, rec a rectangle around it, and then uh, proceed from there in this manner. So it's definitely uh, a fun thing to do. And just to make sure that you, that you guys uh, get it, I'm going to fill in some value. Um, I'm going to give the B plane a dark value and the uh, A plane a light value. And uh, it's really important with uh, the more complex solids to really uh, draw through the forms. Because um, if you don't, you will definitely get lost and you'll be in trouble. Okay. Alright, so there it is, a triangular solid 
in a two-point perspective. Um, now you can do the same method for a one-point perspective, just uh, you know, use one point, draw out your plane, uh, center it, find your, find your geometric shape, and uh, project it upwards. That's it.